I will admit, I am a curious woman. Typically, where I go to drink my martinis, I get asked for my phone number and I refuse to give it. Every gentleman who approaches me and asks me for my phone number, I say, I'll give it to you. If you read Neil Stevenson's The Diamond Age. And 9.5 times out of 10, I get scoffed at. I have to read a book and write a book report to talk to you. What era do you think this is? And I reply, I don't care what era it is. These are my requirements. You see, Princess Nell in this book and I share the same history. Though she's fiction and I am not. We both had charm school in a project kitchen, surrounded by drugs, violence, poverty. You see a woman right now in my profile who is strong, beautiful, long hair, confident gaze, muscular body, but there was a time that that same woman you see was a poor girl from the Midwest who lived in the South in a project apartment next to a bayou with snakes, roaches, and rats. And the only thing she had was a single parent, books, proper posture, Posey's etiquette, and a dream, a dream to leave the hood and to speak to you. My college professor says no matter what happens, you have to crawl out of despair on your knees and your knuckles. And I did that. So whenever someone tells me or laughs at me that they have to read a book just to get my phone number, I laugh. You lived in a world with low standards. And here I am who came from low standards. And you don't understand why I keep my standards so high. Page 385. From the primer, Princess Nell's activities as Duchess of Turing, the Castle of the Watergates, other castles, the Cipherer's Market, Nell prepares for her final journey. Princess Nell remained in Castle Turing for several months. During her quest for the Twelve Keys, she had entered many castles, outwitted their centuries, picked their locks, and rifled their treasures. But Castle Turing was an altogether different place, a place that ran on rules and programs that were devised by men and that could be rewritten by one who was adept in the language of the ones and zeros. She need not content herself with sneaking in, seizing a trinket and fleeing. Castle Turing, she made her own. Its domain became Princess Nell's kingdom. <laughs>